Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a haul. I went to CVS, I went to Sephora for their 20% off VIB Beauty, and I also um, ordered some things online from BH Cosmetics. I've been itching to get new makeup, so this is perfect. I'm excited to show you guys. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I got, then just keep watching. Okay, so first let's start out with drugstore. I went to CVS and I went to Dwayne Reed. I've been actually eyeing this face makeup for a while and I just haven't gotten around to getting it because I love my L'Oreal True Match and that's what I use all the time. But yeah, I actually, this one was on sale so it was the perfect time to buy it. It's the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. It's actually what I have on my skin right now. It's a very lightweight consistency. It's definitely buildable, but it's pretty cool when you're putting it on. It's It almost feels like powder. It's definitely buildable. Um, so far, I really like it. Next, I got these two Milani eyeshadows. They're the um, Bella Eyes Gel Powder eyeshadows. Now this winter I'm very into like the cranberries and the golds and um, the mauve colors. So that's where these babies come into play. Let me just open them so I could show you guys. This is the first one. This color is the number 19 Bella Rouge. And it's just a really pretty cranberry color. I'll swatch it for you in one second. Let me just open this one and I'll do them at the same time. And this one is number 22 called Bella Gold. Now, I don't know if it matters, but these say metallic underneath them. So, I don't know if you guys want to go and buy them. It says it underneath there. And this is just the gold color. Very, very highly pigmented and so smooth. I love that. This right here is the Bella Gold. And this right here is the Bella Rouge. Seems that they would go very smooth on the eyes. Um, I'm really looking forward to using them. Next, I got this from NYX, this soft matte lip cream. Now, I've been eyeing these for a while. I'm very into the matte lip. It's very in, that Kylie Jenner, mauve pinky matte. This color is in Milan. And let me open it. Now it comes with like a felt tip wand, which I like those better than the brush ones. I don't know, I feel like the brush ones kind of waste a lot of products. This is what that looks like. It actually reminds me a lot of MAC Pink Plaid, just a little bit darker. Um, it's very smooth, and I'm guessing it dries to matte. Um, so yeah, that's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. Mmm. And it smells amazing. Next from Rimmel, I also got this Rimmel London Fix Perfect Pro Primer. It says it smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, protects. It's a five-in-one result. The primer I've been using lately that I've been loving um, is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. But in the winter, I tend to like a more matte face. Um, and the Magic Lumi Primer gives you a very dewy finish. It's like, um, when you put it on your face, it's very iridescent. You could actually see the iridescence on your skin. So yeah, so I just thought for winter, I would switch it up a little bit and do more of a matte face. I could always go back and change, but I'm really interested in trying this one. This is what it looks like. It comes out white, and it dries to be very matte. Um, I'm really interested in trying that out. Also, if you guys want to see like a review of these products after I use them, let me know and I could do that also. Next, I got this Milani lipstick in Plum Rose. And these lipsticks are awesome. They smell awesome. They're so creamy. And they, they last very long. The pigmentation is very good. Um, this color I got is in number 17 Plum Rose. I'll swatch it for you guys. This is what this one looks like. This Milani lipstick in Plum Rose. Next from Milani also, I love their baked blushes. I have a few of them. The color payoff of these blushes are beautiful for the price. Um, they have a range of colors in number one, Dolce Pink. And it looks like this. I'll swatch it for you guys. 
Now this has a little bit of um, shimmer in it, but this is probably one of the only blushes that I don't mind the shimmer. This is what that one looks like. Like I said, the color payoff is great for the price. You can't go wrong. I heard about these facial cleansing towelettes from Burt's Bees and the big package is kind of expensive and I do find that I don't love every makeup towelette. I wanted to try these ones out so I actually was in like the travel section and they had like a little package and these are the Burt's Bees facial cleansing towelettes with white tea extract. This is what these look like. I'm really looking forward to trying them out. Um, let's see what they smell like. Oh my god. Smell like, like a spa, like that clean, lemony kind of... Moving on. So, my lips have been so chapped lately. I'm, I live in New Jersey, so the weather's kind of been getting a little chilly, and I get the worst chap lips ever in the winter. So, I usually use, like, the little Vaseline, like the little baby guy. He's so cute. Um, and that works really good, but they actually didn't have that. They sold out of it in my CVS. So I saw this Nivea Lip Butter um, Smooth Kiss. And I've been using it for the past few days, and I actually really like it. It's really bringing my lips back to natural and normal and not so flaky and gross. So this stuff I've really been loving. Now on to hair products that I got from the drugstore. If you watched my hair video I posted a few days ago, maybe a week ago, um, I spoke about a lot of the hair products that I use. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the link down below. Um, but I also spoke about these. They're the L'Oreal um, Volume Filler Fiber Amplifying Concentrate. Now I use the L'Oreal Volume Filler Shampoo. Um, if you watch the video, you'll see how, um, you'll see my review on it and everything, and I really do love it, and like I said, I did use these before, I did go into, a, um, detail a little bit about it in my video, my hair video, but I'm just going to show you what these look like. They just look like this, and they're in, like, a little tube, and you twist this off, you squeeze it into your hand, you could mix it with a little bit of conditioner, I don't because I feel like this makes my hair a little soft and I have very fine hair to begin with so technically I don't want my hair to be any softer. So what I'll do is I'll shampoo my hair, I'll wash, I'll wash out my shampoo, I'll put that in, I'll wash my body, shave my legs, do whatever I do in the shower and then I'll rinse it out. And I do find that um, it does make my hair feel fuller, but I definitely wouldn't recommend using these all the time. I don't use them every day. I maybe use them once or twice a week. Um, they're very inexpensive, and if you're like me and you have thin hair and you like fuller hair, definitely try these out. You won't be disappointed. Also, from the L'Oreal Volume Filler line, I use the mousse. Um, I talked about that in my video also, but I saw this. And it's, this is the new Volume Filler dis Densifying Jelly. Densifying Jelly. Blowout Volume Weightless Treatment Styler Leave-In for Fine Thin Hair. And it looks like this. It's just like a gel, I guess. Put it in your hair damp, blow out your hair, and blow with the roots up. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. And now for face products. I needed like an exfoliator, like a face exfoliator. Um... Not for like everyday use, um, but just for like on occasion, like once a week, twice a week when I want to exfoliate my face. Um, and this is just the one that caught my eye. There were a few that I saw, but this is just the one that um, I got for now. This is the Olay Fresh Effects Out of This Swirled Deep Pore, Deep Pore Clean Exfoliating Scrub. And it looks like this. And it's actually really cool. It's in like a, um, it looks like there's like two different products in it. I don't know if you guys could see. Oh yeah. There's like two different products and when you squeeze it out, they swirl together. Yeah, like I said, I'll use this like once or twice a week. Nothing crazy because if you over exfoliate, you could, um, damage your skin and you don't want to do that. So yeah, this is the Olay Fresh Effects Deep Pore, Deep Pore Clean Exfoliating Scrub. 
Now, on to Sephora. I originally went into Sephora to get the Kat Von D Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita, and it's completely sold out everywhere. But instead of that, you know, you have to walk around Sephora and find other things to buy. So I needed um, my Bare Minerals Well Rested for Eyes. Let me just tell you a little bit about this. Bare Minerals Well Rested for Eyes is probably one of my most favorite products when it comes to doing my makeup because I'm the type of person that likes my under eye highlight. I do use a concealer that's lighter than my face makeup but I tend to see that when I um, powder my face after I do all that it kind of all blends. Now this is where this comes in. This stuff is actually powdered concealer so it is going to brighten regardless but when you use it over your concealer, it is the most amazing stuff ever. I have nothing bad to say about it. I I don't even know what to say about it. Just the fact that it's amazing. And everybody needs to go and get it. And you will love it. Next from Sephora, I actually heard a lot about these on YouTube. Now these are the Sephora mattifying and anti-blemish anti fiber masks. This is the green tea mask. They have like a, um, I'd say like five or six different ones. There's a rose one, there's a pearl one, there's a pomegranate one. Just depending on what you guys like. I love green tea, so this is just the one that I tried. I did cheat and I did it last night and I have to tell you guys that it made my skin feel amazing. It's actually a towelette. It's not like a, um, like a, What's the word I'm looking for? Like a paste or putty or whatever, like a usual mask. It's actually one of those sheets with the eye holes, the nose hole, and the lip hole. So if you're going to do this, I suggest you do it when you're home alone because it's kind of creepy. You wash your face normally and then you put that on and you leave it on for 15 minutes and you just do whatever in between. And it tingles. It feels so good when it's on your skin. Um, and yeah, and then you just take it off and there'll be stuff on your face and you just stuff on your face from the mask itself and you just rub it in and it says there's no need to rain. I can't wait to go back and get more. I want to try every single one of them. This is what they look like. They come in like this little package and you open it up and then there's a pre-moistened towelette in this thing. As you can see mine is open. So yeah, definitely go and try those out guys because they're awesome. Last but not least from Sephora, I have been wanting these for so long and I just haven't gotten around to trying them. I totally forgot about them to be honest and when I was in Sephora yesterday and I saw them I almost fell to the floor and died because I was so excited that I finally found them and I had to get them and that is the little mini micro beauty blenders. They are so freaking cute. I can't wait to use them. I'm so excited to try these little babies out. I mean, I don't know how anybody would not be so excited for this little guy. <laughs> now on to BH Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics I've been ordering from for quite a while now. I'd say maybe like two or three years. Very inexpensive. It's awesome for a professional makeup artist who's doing make who's doing makeup on girls all day. They have huge palettes. They have huge makeup brush set. So yeah, so I'm just gonna get into that. The first thing I got was this six color correct and conceal palette in cut in the color light. Now I'm really excited to try this out. I've been eyeing the Mac one. Um, I forget what it's called. I think it's like a, the Mac Pro highlight and highlight and contour palette. I'm not really sure what it's called. This one is probably like a dupe for it. So I figured I'd try this one first. I think it was like six dollars and you get all six shades. This one right here is a very light concealer shade for under the eyes. This one is a little bit darker and this one is a little bit darker. So you get three shades for three different skin tones, which is good. And then these down here, this one is green, this one is yellow, and this one is salmon. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. Next, I got this Bombshell Bronze Matte Bronzer in Diva. I used it today. Also, it was very inexpensive. I think it was like $5. So even if I didn't like it, it wouldn't bother me. But I'm so happy that I got it because I absolutely love it. Next, I got this 10 color palette professional blush, blush palette. Now I did say that B 
BH Cosmetics is good for big palettes, blush palettes, eyeshadow palettes, um, face powder palettes, any kind of big palette like that. And I have to say that these are probably my favorite blushes. They give you a wide variety of ranges of colors. The color payoff is awesome. Some of them are matte. They give you some shimmer ones, which is good. what it looks like. Today I have on this color right here on my cheeks. I think this palette might have been like 12 or 15 dollars. I will link everything down below that I use and I will link the um, I will link BH Cosmetic website down below too so if you guys want to go out and check them out you guys can. But yeah that's it for this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back soon with another video. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.